Scientists have detected potential signs of life in the atmosphere of a distant exoplanet K218b, which is located more than 120 light years from Earth. The discovery has been made by scientists from the University of Cambridge, led by an Indian origin astrophysicist, Niku Madhusudan. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai. Welcome to Pure Science. The Cambridge team used NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and found compelling signs of carbon-bearing molecules, including methane and carbon dioxide, in the planet's atmosphere. This, according to researchers, is the strongest evidence yet of life beyond Earth. The findings of these observations have been published in the journal The Astrophysical Journal Letters. K218b is an exoplanet, more simply put, a planet outside of our solar system. It orbits the red dwarf star K218, located in the Leo constellation. The planet lies within the habitable zone of its stars, a region where temperatures may allow liquid water to exist. The planet is nearly 2.5 times the size of Earth, about 8.6 times its mass, and about 700 trillion miles away from us. K218b is considered a sub-Neptune, which is a category of planet that is not present in our solar system, but is believed to host hydrogen-rich atmospheres and liquid oceans beneath its surface. Its potential of a Hycean world a term used for planets with hydrogen-dominated atmospheres and ocean-covered surfaces, is what has kept scientists interested in K218b. And understandably so, because these properties indicate the possibility of supporting life. Now, what do the latest findings exactly say? Using the James Webb Telescope's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, and the near-infrared spectrograph, scientists have found traces of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide, the two molecules that are associated with life. On Earth, these molecules are produced by marine phytoplankton and bacteria. The Cambridge team said that the amount of these gases observed in the atmosphere there was thousands of times higher than that on Earth. Scientists also detected the presence of methane and carbon dioxide and the absence of ammonia. This chemical mix also matches the predictions of Hycean planets. Past studies have also tried to establish associations between the lack of ammonia on a celestial object and the possibility of life. This is because ammonia tends to be absorbed by large water bodies on or below the surface. While these initial findings have opened up a whole range of possibilities, experts are treading with caution. Mainly because the observations are still too nascent to make any sure shot claims. In its current form, this discovery is categorized as a sigma 3. For a scientific result to be considered accurate, it has to be tested on a 5 sigma level. At a more simplified level, the current finding will need more confirmatory data to back these claims. But now that these findings are out there to test, scientists are trying to find the reasons behind the presence of such high levels of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide. Though on Earth, these gases are produced by microorganisms in the ocean, there is a great possibility that there are alternative ways of creating these by non-living sources. This was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.